Hey, good afternoon, Cotton Nephew. I just send you something on Facebook. I hope you get to see it and listen to it. You know I mean? It make a lot of sense. A lot of mountains are coming our lives, you know what I mean? That we got to climb. And I'm proud to see you overcome them, man. I'm proud of you that you succeed in life. And they're rough, you know, some of the roads rough. You don't want to hold your head sometime and ask why, like, why happening to me? Why are you going through this far? As a good man, I do what I got to do, man. And I am so proud of you to see how your sons come up and how they're making it do. I look daddy in 24-7 like you used to be, but your heart and soul still there for them no matter what. You drop anything in the world to be there for them. So I just gotta tell you, I'm proud of you, man. I only got a chance to send that, that thing in the message on Facebook and our Facebook message. I want you to listen to it, okay? I love you forever, man. Love the both of you, 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 brother. So enjoy the rest of your day, okay? All right, Papa. Cool. I am proud of you. The stand you took in the midst of life's turbulence and deception. You never lost your focus. Keeping your promise to your sons. Your life changed. Your love for your son never wavered. It just made it stronger. Sacrifice became the only way of life. It was all or nothing. Yes, I am a proud father. You stood your ground and faced it full on. You're weathering the storm. My sons. My sons are my gifts from God. Truly my crown and my glove and I wear my crown with much pride we've gone through many ups and downs but we always come through with God's help for any trouble that we're going through right now son that we're going to come through this with the help of God. Thank you so much for being the best son a mom and dad could ask for. And let's not forget my grandson. Dad and I love you and we're all so proud of all of you. Even our princess, Aubrey. And we will continue throughout our lives to encourage you and pray for you no matter how old you are. So always remember the family that prays together, stays together. We will continue to stay together because we will continue to pray together no weapon formed against us shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Nita, God has gifted you with the strength and tenacity that has propelled you through challenging and difficult times. You, in turn, share that strength, tenacity, and insight with others via the fire. You never know how far you've reached or who you have impacted. Keep doing what you're doing. Just want to reach out to you, man, and... So I'll ask you, you know, I'm gonna add a few words, but I'm gonna tell it like it is. You've been doing inspired consistently, and everything you say is inspiring to others. What you say is from the heart, man. I 
I face a lot of adversity, and I know that you have too, but you still have it in you to inspire others, although you yourself are going through what you're going through. And I see it time, time and time again, man. Every fire is always something inspiration to pull from and to learn from it. I value you first and foremost as my brother. Beside that, I value you as a man. I value what you say. And I value everything that you said ever since we were kids, man. You know, I always looked up to you, man. You my big brother. I always looked at what you said and how you led by example. I mean, everything from the, the football field, the classroom, and so on, fatherhood, you name it. You know, I, I pull a page out of every chapter from your book, you know, and I feel like each fire is their class, man. Uh, I mean, anybody that's willing to listen to it can pull a lesson from it. That's going, they gonna learn something from it. And I know that I do, and I know that if I do, I know that you impacted some other people out here doing what you're doing, bro. And this virus is another method of the same thing you've been doing my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So keep pushing it, bro. I love you, and I'll always be your number one fan, bit, bro. Until we talk again. And yes, I just listened to that last fire. I'm talking to you. And again, I got a question for you. Who the f you think you are? <laughs> man, I love it. Keep giving it to these niggas, man. Keep it up. Bro, man, you cold, dog. Man, you cold. Golly, man. For real, like, it was like you were harboring some things. Like I said, I don't know if you just sit down and write or gathered it over time, but man, you touched on a lot of spaces that was very relevant to my life right now. Really, like a lot of couple times I thought about my nephew, who's kind of going through a, a transition in his life right now, from boys to men, and he's got to, he need to step up. You did a great job of like capturing a lot of time and a lot of emotions that you were going through whenever that opportunity knocks. Like you said, whenever they want to know, whenever, you know, another aggressive black male is hitting the scene. And, but then you didn't let us off the hook. You didn't let them off the hook either, though, because we got to start being better to ourselves. But you did a real clean job encompassing that, like, very uh, intelligently and very factually. Like you cold, child. This experience that we're going through is so intimate that there's too many people that if they really being honest with themselves, that, that can use something, that can use this. Man, thank you. I gotta play this file for my nephew, man. Like I said, I don't even want to get into it. You know, we'll catch up another time. But yeah, like he got some stuff, some growing up he need to do. And, um, and like I said, like, I, you know, a lot of people want to be hard on him. But I, um, you know, it's like he done been broken, though. Know? Somebody done hurt him along the way to make him like he is. This last fire was everything. You just keep getting better and better. I love that you don't let anything stop you. Everybody and anybody that tried to tear you down, the universe is taking care of them. And you taking care of yourself and you taking care of us. I love you. Whatever I can do to support you, encourage you, I'm gonna do. Because you have something that nobody else has. And you have a burning desire to do it. I love being able to watch you and listen to you and be able to say that's my man. And I love how unapologetic you are. Sky's the limit, baby. And just know I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be here for all of it. I can't wait. What is life? 
S for living. I is for interacting. F is for feelings. And E is for energy. Who is life? You are life. I am life. The day I was born, you were nobody's mistake. God sent you here so you could create. I never came here to steal. I am a living my life to its fullest. And that's my real. I love interaction. On a daily basis with my family and friends, they bring love, joy, peace, and good communications. Without them, I have no hesitation. When I feel low, I always have a place to go. Whether I am up or down, they know how to bring me back around. I live in a world with different alarms. Continuous to interact with my family and friends, this world can do me no harm. F is for feelings. Feelings motivate behaviors. I can be funny, but I am nobody's dummy. I have had many successes and I have had some letdowns. Had to pull myself up by my bootstraps without even wearing a frown. Whether I am feeling good, bad, or indifferent, I do my very best to keep my life simple. E is for energy. Sun and rain brings life to the earth. I am God's creation, created from his dirt. The sun can be hot and sometimes cold. However, it always shines and that makes me bold. Rain makes water for the trees and vegetables to grow. When I see nature at her best, that gives me energy to know. Energize me, sun. Energize me, rain. I am a product of life, and I will never be the same.